What if I say I believe God is and that he rewards me? Is that a good faith? That's a great faith. That's the faith Jesus is going to come and find. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrop. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. And if this isn't your first time here, these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us this message can become your greatest possession Luke chapter 18 verse 8 nevertheless when say when when, when the Son of Man cometh shall he find faith on the earth where's he gonna be looking for this faith on the moon in the heavens no on the earth so this will be a faith on the earth that's good news for you because you can have this kind of faith say this kind of faith, this kind of faith. where you are on the earth yep. but first of all it says when it didn't say if did it nope. say if the son of man comes back it said when so there's a time Say, there's a time there's, a time there's an appointed time yeah when the son of man shall return now who's the son of man jesus. this is talking about jesus jesus is talking about jesus yeah. isn't that amazing mm -hmm. when the son of man cometh will he find something on the earth I said greatest possession if you possessed something if you possessed this faith it would be good for you that when he comes say when he comes, when he comes. that he find you with it Amen. wouldn't that be great yeah. and it could be qualified as your greatest possession if you had this thing that he came to find are you still here yeah. now note here that Jesus is not on the earth but he's coming to the earth say to the earth to, the earth. to find something mm -hmm. which means he's not on the earth before he comes to find it is this so difficult mm -hmm. he's coming to find something when he he has to return to the earth to find it yeah. say he returns, he returns. To, to the earth, the earth. To, find it. to find it right mm -hmm. on the earth we aren't confused are we as, as to what's happening here yeah. there will be a faith that's functioning fully on the earth that Jesus will come and find and somehow listen somehow it was functioning fully without him this faith listen this faith is fully functioning on the earth without him because he would come to find it and then he asked the question whether he would or not well if he was the one doing it he wouldn't come to find it and wonder whether there would be one there or not he would know well don't get mad at me there will be a fully functioning faith on the earth when Jesus returns and he will find it mm -hmm. Hebrews 11 6 but without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God must believe that he God is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him with this function on the earth this, this kind of faith you have to come to God believing that he is say believing he is. believing he is is what you have to believe something about him what is he he's God mm -hmm. but also what is he he's in the earth yeah. you're coming to him remember this is the faith functioning on the earth mm -hmm. if you're not on the earth quit listening to this message this is a faith functioning on the earth you're believing that God is who is the God that's in the earth 
today the Holy Ghost we believe that he is that he is that he exists that he's a being that he's in the earth Jesus sent him here right and that he is presently a rewarder of those who diligently seek him that's faith that's the definition the Bible definition of faith you believe God is and that he rewards you mm -hmm. say I believe, I believe God is, God is. And, and that he rewards, he me. rewards me where in the afterlifes no now in the earth remember Jesus, Jesus is gonna come and find this mm -hmm. you walking with God the Holy Ghost together in agreement speaking and being rewarded for it mm -hmm. I'm liking this message my faith is soundly on earth the Holy Ghost he is God in the earth today and I walk with him by saying words and I'm doing this on the earth get that straight and he rewards me welcome to faith what if I say that what if I say I believe God is and that he rewards me that's faith is that a good faith yes. it's a great faith that's the faith Jesus is gonna come and find well this is the faith and it pleases God did you see that without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to God must believe that he is right so this kind of faith pleases God a hallmark of this kind of faith is that it pleases God believing he is and that he rewards you can you see that yes. it's a hallmark of this kind of faith I please God as a forgotten saying say I please God I please God the saying is I please God let's look at that for a second verse 5 by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God he had a saying that he pleased God say I have a saying I please God make that your saying I please God now of course you please God by saying the things he wants you to say but this is the one of the things he wants you to say <laughs> are you seeing this yeah. all right well Enoch had that testimony and what did it do for him translated him from one glory to the next Isaiah chapter 46 and here we see a few things about God and the way God does things wouldn't that be good to know Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 9 remember the former things of old for I am God I am God and there's none like me verse 10 declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done so he declares what it's going to be like at the end way from the beginning you understand yep. and from ancient times when would ancient times be Is that yesterday no. Is that a hundred years ago no. no it's more than that yeah. right ancient times say ancient times. ancient times from ancient times he's declaring the things that are going to be at the end are you here yeah. yes. well we see in ancient times we had people that lived in ancient times and their life was a prophecy of what it would be like at the end so these people their life was a literal prophecy of what it would be like at the end Enoch was one of them mm -hmm. Enoch was a type of the last day church he pleased God and was not for God took him well Jesus said that when the Son of Man comes right when would the Son of Man be coming we're talking about the end yeah. the end end mm -hmm. so there would be things that God prophesied about that time when the Son of Man comes yeah. from ancient times or from the beginning mm -hmm. the end from the beginning Jesus said the first will be last 
and the last will be first mm -hmm. very similar on both sides yeah. matthew chapter 24 and verse 37 but as the days of noah were as the days of noah were was noah in the ancient times yeah. Yeah. so god is going to use noah in the ancient times to declare things as they would end up yes does this make sense yeah jesus is even saying so but as the days of noah were so shall also the coming of the son of man be so we can look at the type of what happened in noah's day to see what it's going to be when the son of man returns that's what we're talking about yeah. one of the signs that was in the days of noah was the man methuselah one of the signs that was in the days of Noah, literally right up before the flood, was Methuselah. His name meant, when Methuselah dies, judgment comes. Mm -hmm. What did we know about Methuselah? What was the big sign with Methuselah? What was the, what was the, the sign that was Methuselah's life? He lived longer than any other person ever his long life was a sign of that time mm -hmm. say his long life, his long life was, a was a sign of that time, of that time. now as in the days of noah were so shall also the coming of the son of man be can we expect in the time when the coming of the son of man be mm -hmm. to have the sign of of Methuselah people living longer than they've ever lived before mm -hmm. supernaturally yes and that was the message I preached a couple weeks ago and as in ancient times Noah's day was an ancient time so shall it be when the Son of Man returns a sign that men and women would live longer than anyone else much like the days of old are you here let's look at another one you okay with this mm -hmm. luke chapter 2 verse 25 and behold there was a man in jerusalem whose name was simeon and the same man was just and devout waiting for the consolation of israel and the holy ghost was upon him say the holy ghost was upon him, the holy ghost was upon him. you know him right the holy ghost mm -hmm. He declares the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that have not yet happened mm -hmm. and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ mm -hmm. say the Lord's Christ. the Lord's Christ it didn't say the Lord Christ mm -hmm. it said the Lord's Christ the Holy Ghost was on him and witnessed to him revealed to him that he would not see death until he had seen the Lord Holy Ghost's Christ are you here yeah. that could be a whole another message I just thought I'd bring it out bear with me here could Simeon be considered unto us someone from ancient times yes. or someone from the beginning prophesying what it would be like at the end time when the son of man returns yeah, yeah 2000 years ago i think qualifies mm -hmm. as ancient times and he was at the beginning of the life of jesus the last shall be first the first shall be last that means the last sign should have the same thing going on mm -hmm. people knowing people being revealed to by the Holy Ghost that they would not see death until the coming of the Son of Man mm -hmm. so Simeon was revealed to him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death until now he probably lived longer than other people why because he could not see death he couldn't die until he saw the lord's christ mm -hmm. does that make sense 
and if this was the Holy Ghost moving on him which I think we've got scripture for it the Holy Ghost moved on him and revealed that to him therefore that same word listen that same word would quicken his mortal physical body to live longer until say longer, longer. Until, until it came to pass that he'd see the Lord's Christ Does this make sense mm -hmm. well some of you have this same testimony have this same revelation that I would not die until I saw the return of the Son of Man Jesus are you here mm -hmm. now listen says the Spirit Lord I am giving this testimony to every man woman and child regardless of age that you should not see death until you have seen the Lord's return and you would say well what if he tarries then your old age will be a sign just like the sign of Methuselah is this okay what if God had to quicken and renew your youth mm -hmm. so that you could stay around because you know the long suffering of the Lord mm -hmm. it could be a while but the Holy Ghost the Spirit Lord is saying that to every man woman and child that's alive right now doesn't matter their age they should not die until they see the return of the Lord you have become a living testimony they the ancients lived lives that prophesied of you in this day are you here do I got to go through these things again the ancients lived lives that were a prophecy of you in this day you live a life that fulfills those prophecies say I live a life, live a life. Fulfilling, fulfilling those prophecies. prophecies get that straight this is the faith that Jesus can return to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 5 by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death say not see death not see death who did that also say that should not see death until Simeon same words and Enoch is a type of the last day church mm -hmm. he pleased God he walked in faith and pleased God mm -hmm. he had the testimony I please God yeah. and was taken away by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him and before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God Enoch was a type of the last day church Enoch was one of the ancients prophesied what it would be like at the end another thing we know about Enoch is that he walked with God he was translated that he should not see death and we go from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit Lord mm -hmm. the Spirit Lord the Spirit Lord and where do we do this perchance when we die and go to heaven no we do this we go from glory to glory to glory here on the earth being changed being transformed from one thing to another thing say from one thing, from one thing to, another thing. to another thing but it's all in faith mm -hmm. and this happens on earth at some point say at some point at some point. at some point Jesus shows up you see this mm -hmm. he returns to see this faith that you're walking in this glory that you're walking in now this messes with my theology I know isn't it funny how scriptures mess with your theology things we know about Enoch that he was in ancient times and that his life was a prophecy of the end 
number two is that Enoch walked with God what do you do what are you doing today you should be walking with God God the Holy Ghost by speaking in agreement with his word mm -hmm. we speak on this all the time here and number three as we saw here in verse 5 he had a testimony that he pleased God say he had a testimony, he had a testimony. that he pleased God. he pleased God a testimony is something you say he said I please God is this too difficult say I have a testimony I I please God. I please God. That's so rough for people to say. You walk with God, you worship Him, and you please Him. Mm -hmm. Say, I please God. I please God. You have to have that testimony in your mouth. And number four, I forget how many we're up to now with Enoch. He didn't die until it happened. And he still didn't die. Yeah. Right? So unlike Simeon who didn't die until he saw the Lord's Christ mm -hmm. if you don't die until you see Jesus return you don't die are you here yes. all right so we have Methuselah Simeon and Enoch and you can look at these prophecies from a distance as a casual observer or you can be a player say I can be a player, I can be a player. you can participate in this last time move of the Holy Ghost the Living God who walks the earth with you and you walk with him by saying words and transformations begin to take place that change you from one thing to the next from one thing to the next until you don't even recognize who you were anymore for you've been changed into those things which were prophesied from ancient times and you stand in those things as a new being as a new man a new woman a new child and fulfill the scriptures that have been written about you from the early early days this is that which was spoken I am that sign I please God say I am that sign I, am that sign. I, please God. I please God we worship you Holy Ghost and we thank you that we have become the sign in these last days and we walk with you and we worship you and we are changed from glory to glory even as by you and we shall fulfill all things in our day in Jesus name Amen, amen. If you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand and say this after me Holy Ghost you are the Living God you are my spirit Lord I walk with you and everything you have I have everything you walk in I walk in and we fulfill all scriptures in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven right